Good day, Dominic Nation. Welcome to the vlog. It is nine o'clock. We got up at seven, yes. but then we really couldn't get out of bed. Oh. Our legs are extremely sore. It took two more hours to regenerate. Yeah, so I just uh, got washed up. Now we're heading over for brekkie. Yay! Uh, so right now my right knee is like right here is extremely painful. That is healing better. Paul's toes bruised from the rock that fell down on you. Yeah. So Paul's like, I'm going up this one. I don't care. <laughs> so he tries to go up and he creates a landslide. <laughs> and then a freaking rock just comes right in his foot and he turned from Mr. Powerful into Dude, a whiny bring, little wintering baby. Wintering baby. It hurts so much. Off to lunch, breakfast. Oh, we should take in the car. This is kind of cool. My sister wants that for the cottage. They also have, if I can get out of the sun, they also have like an arcade. There we go. Full arcade for the kids. Splash Park. Dogs. The old arcade, non electric. The non electric arcade. Wow. Hi. And they've got the big cab in here with the restaurant up top. Oh no, stairs. <laughs> so you just uh, come in, you order, get your, order your food, your drinks, then you pay for it, and then they'll just bring it out to you, I guess. Because we're number nine. Not a lot of people are here today. <laughs> It's a campground. A lot of people bring their own food, but yeah, I, guess, I guess so. Yeah, we'll sit. We want to sit in the booth sure. or in the Adirondack chairs. Oh, oh, oh! oh. There's gonna be a whole lot of complaining today on pain. I think we took Advil at 7 a.m. We did. We were popping pills. Although we did a lot of complaining yesterday, we loved every second of it. Um, I didn't complain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rewind the tape, shall we? The day of pain. Packs too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Did get hot up there, man. Uh, let's say two feet. We're almost at the top. I can't even lift. The oh, what the? Oh, that's right. What? Just, uh, my body is just humming right now. Good night. I'm barely standing. That's why I'm laying here, I'm like paralyzed. The shots we got with the drone, the people we met on the trail, uh, just the absolute amazing views uh, all around us. I'd love to come back and do the, the highest peak, which was the peak behind where we were. What was it called again? The highest peak? The high, uh, Marcy. 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 Yeah, I'd like to do that one. You got some good shots one day. of it. Yeah. But I'd like to climb that another day. We had uh, bacon and eggs and toast, coffee, juice, typical camp breakfast, and it was totally fine. The bacon could have been a little more crispier. Yes. But uh, at least it was done as well as it was. <laughs> now we just have to pack up and head to Kingston. Kingston. And we're going to stay in Kingston overnight. <clears throat> and uh, so between here and the border, we're going to try and do a food review. Just for you. And just for you. <laughs> <laughs> we are all packed up and it is crazy hot. I'm already sweating. Ooh. Ready to go? What? I thought I was gonna have a little nap here. I think we're gonna stop for a nap soon. We're done. Bye, cabin! Bye! What U15. <laughs> so if you ever come to this KOA, say U15, uh, we've uh, hidden some treasure. <laughs> <laughs> you have to find it, it's somewhere in the walls.
is Lake Placid for you one more time, people. They have tons of crosswalks here. Every 20 feet is a crosswalk. Yeah. And you have to stop, apparently. It's against a lot to run those people over. Almost back in Canada, just getting over the border, uh, I guess over the St. Lawrence River. And uh, the toll booth back there is uh, 275 American. Yes. Do you remember what I said, Canadian? Probably 375. Yeah, I think it was 375 Canadian. Possibly. So this is a pretty cool bridge. Not bad, eh? Exciting. Kingston. It's around 4.30 in the afternoon. We just finished having lunch at the Kingston Brewery Company. They have a really good beer called uh, Dragon's Breath. And uh, so we had that and a bison burger. I put that stuff up on my Instagram and all that. And uh, so this is downtown Kingston. They're going to show us the this Paul and Paul. It's a very pretty city. All right, guys, this is Paul. Paul, this is everybody. Hello. And uh, he's, were you born and raised here? Yes, sir. Born and raised in Kingston and went to school with Paul. And uh, he's just showing us around. I've never been in the downtown area of Kingston. I've always been to the, where along the highway type stuff. Down the 401. Down the 401 stretch. And now we're just uh, getting some knowledge. How, how was your lunch? tour guide. The tour guide. Lunch was great. We went to the brew pub. Also known as Kingston Brewing Company. Kingston Brewing Company. There you go. And we all had the bison, bison burger, did we not? No. Oh, you didn't? I had a different I had a, the KBC. The oh, bean burger. Oh, the bean burger, that's right. Uh -oh. What did you, you think of it? <laughs> yeah. it'll, uh -oh. it'll catch me later, maybe. <laughs> I thought the bison burger was uh, quite good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it above a uh, moose burger, but you haven't had a moose I haven't burger. Had a moose burger. So, what did you think of that over a regular burger? That was pretty good. Yeah, not bad, eh? Yeah, Different good. flavor. But mine, I put the blue cheese on, which overpowers yeah. it. I love blue cheese. Yeah, the blue cheese. Oh, I didn't do blue cheese. I just did bacon on But you know uh, what we should do? We'll get a hold of some game meats. We'll grind our own and do our own burgers. What kind of meats? Game meats. Okay, so game meats. Gammy leg meat? <laughs> you want ostrich. Ostrich. <laughs> Left Kingston a while ago, now we're just passing Belleville, Ontario. There's the big flag that's made out of flowers. But uh, it is almost six o'clock, three minutes to six. And uh, just gassed up. Paul's got a diesel engine, so. He that's got, why I love my car. He loves his diesel engine. Because he got a thousand thirty-seven or something, thousand, over a thousand kilometers for the last tank. So he gassed up the day before we left, drove all the way to the States and back, and we just had to gas up now to get back to Toronto. So it's 184 to Toronto, probably 200 and something. What does it say to your house? It usually tells you how many kilometers left, no? No, I've got set on time, I can tell you. That's all right, don't worry about it. Anyway, so uh, like I said, I had to get home, start editing all the vlogs that I haven't put together yet. It's going to be busy tonight and tomorrow, let me tell you. Let's go home. <laughs> that's a good way to start the ending of the vlog. Uh, oh, it's wait, more, it's evening. Sorry. That's right. The day is over. Uh, it is now 7.41 in the evening. I'm going to get to Paul's house. Carol's going to pick me up. And I just wanted to say again, thanks to Paul for driving. I offered to drive. He just likes to drive. So I uh, had an awesome time, sir. Yes, it was awesome. Best way to spend your birthday. Yes. With a buddy on a mountain and a cigar. Yes. Or two. And good pizza and beer. Good after. pizza and beer. 
had a great time, I'm very sore still, and uh, when we were in Kingston, just trying to walk around Kingston was excruciatingly painful. But thanks for sticking, along, sticking with us, thanks for coming along on our little adventure, and there'll be more adventures to come in the near future. We're even talking about uh, Kilimanjaro and Katahdin, yes. things like that craziness but again sorry it takes when I go on these kinds of adventures uh, the vlogs uh, I can't upload them I, it's hard to edit and uh, just because there's no time because when you do an all-day uh, hike like that I just have no time to edit. Yeah, we were out for 11, 12 plus yeah. hours so we literally got up got dressed ate hiked for 11 12 hours then ate came back had a couple of beers, a little scotch, it no was, time to edit. Yeah, we were two, two grown men in paralysis. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so once again, thank you very much for stopping by, and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye, Paul. Au revoir.